Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is just going to be a quick video on my 241-2 Singer Industrial Sewing Machine. You can see it right back there in the corner. Now I picked up this machine because I really like this cast iron base. You don't see many of these around. And the machine is very similar to the one I did last year that's on more of a standard industrial base. It's the 241-12 that I went through last year. I picked up this table in the springtime and uh, I did not paint that base. That base is original. I did my, uh, where I put the shellac on the, uh, the cast iron once I um, clean it up. And then I just refinished the top with some shellac. Didn't really uh, sand it too much. Just cleaned it up and I made that little toolbox there. And let me get closer up and I'll show you what a few things I did to the machine to make it a little different. As you can see here underneath the machine, this is where I made the major upgrade to the sewing machine. I put on one of the new two-piece servo motors with the controller on the underside. And I took the time to spray paint everything black so that it's not obvious. So the machine really runs quietly now. I've only got it set on 1300. Then I've also got a piece of fabric I can cover that control box with. So let's take a quick look at the underside of the machine here. I'll tip it back. Uh, this machine has the same type of oil pan as the 241-12. Uh, um, I don't keep oil in the pan. I just oil the machine before I'm going to use it. It is a rotary hook machine. You can see the rotary hook here on the left. And yeah, pretty simple machine. It's gear driven. Self oiling, if you do fill the pan with oil, you have to run it at a fairly high speed from time to time to get the oil to pump through the machine. So I just oil it. Take these covers off and oil it every once in a while. I know it's working because I can see the oil dripping out the bottom. And yeah, that's kind of the changes I made to the machine and I'll show you it running right now. As you saw earlier in the video, I had the machine speed set at 1300 RPMs, but the servo motor, when it initially starts up, it'll start up at 100 RPMs, and then as you depress the foot pedal, it'll top out at 1300. You can set that a lot higher if you want to, but I don't see any need in that. So you can sew fairly slowly, and then as you press the foot pedal, just as with any sewing machine, you'll go faster and faster. And then I can bury the needle here and use the knee lift to turn the corner. But with the servo motor, when you're not sewing, you're not going to hear anything. And obviously I found the most wrinkled piece of fabric I could to do this demonstration. Now, this machine does not have reverse, so once you get used to it, the way you back tack is just like that. That's how long it took to lock the stitch without reverse, so. Do that one more time. Just run the machine, get it to stop with the needle up, put your knee lift back, pull the fabric towards you. And just sew a few stitches over what you've just done and you're there all right as always thanks for watching if you like the video hit the subscribe like button helps out the channel helps me out and i'll see you in the next one see ya